And now, ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up. And what an amazing year he's had. It's Stuart Bingham, £50,000. Stuart, um, hard lines. I know it's tough at the moment, um, but you must take a lot of confidence from the way that you've played here all week. Yeah, um, a bit speechless, but uh, yeah, um, great to be in a, a final against Ronnie. Um, you're going to hate you. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, it was a good, good day. None of us played spectacular, but it was good, I think, for the crowd. Um, they've been fantastic all week. Um, just sort of, yeah, it's going to be a lot of confidence for the UK champion for next next week. And what about this new champion of champions competition? What are the players thinking of it? Um, I think I think everyone loved it. Um, I think obviously we want more of it. Um, you say uh, that everyone involved in the tournament, the ITV, uh, the sponsors, uh, they put on an amazing tournament, and uh, hopefully they say there's many more years to come and more tournaments. Well, thanks for being such a great competitor this week. Wish you all the best next week. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. The winner receiving £100,000, and it goes to the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan! Ronnie, congratulations. Straight in to look in the envelope there. I'm sure there is a check there somewhere. Um, fantastic to see you with that uh, win here. A real uh, crowd pleaser as well. Um, but he made it tough for you. I think the, the lead changed hands something like seven times in, in that final. Yeah, you know, i just got to say, you know, Stuart's had another brilliant tournament. Um, he's one of the most consistent players in the tournament and has been for the last three years. So, you know, well done to Stuart for you know, playing so well this week. And uh, I'm just relieved to have got through, really, because... Uh, I just, you know, just from the word go, I just, I just didn't believe I was going to win today. I don't know, just, I just don't know. I just felt second to the punch a lot of the time, and that kind of adds pressure to your game. And when you start, you know, your game can go off a bit. And you know, it was a, it was a tough match, but pleased to come through. You showed real resolve. You've shown that all week, um, and and you seemed to, you seemed a lot freer in the last couple of frames. Yeah, because you know. It's, it's, when you're playing well, you know, the game, the game can come easy. And like Stuart said, we both never played our best. But, you know, when it's a best of 19, it's a lot of frames. And, you know, sometimes you can lose your concentration, but you just have to kind of just battle back. And when it gets to the end, it's like anyone, you know, as soon as you see the finish line, you pick up pace, you know, and you just think, well, you know, you've just got to give it all you got. And, and that's what I've done, you know. But I tried hard from the word go. That's, that's all you can do. And form sometimes is, you know, comes and goes, but you just have to still compete and try and win. You're going to carry that form into York next week, the UK Championships? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, you know, it's a, one of our bigger events. But this has you know, been a fantastic event. Triple Eight has um, you know, been a brilliant sponsor. The, the crowd will be fantastic. You know, hopefully we'll come back here for many more years to come because it's a great venue and hopefully it's a regular on the calendar. We're well, going to be first to get your name on this magnificent trophy. So let's get the uh, presentation proceedings underway. Back to John McDonald. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it really is the moment we've all been waiting for. The magnificent trophy, but most important of all, the title of 888 Casino, Champion of Champions 2013, the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan! Sullivan with that trophy and what a wonderful reception he'll receive here in Coventry.
Not a single person has left. They want to be here to see him lift this trophy. And as he said, he hopes it's uh, the first of many times they'll come here to this brand new competition in poetry. It's been a great uh, venue, guys, and yeah. we've enjoyed every day of it here. And we've had some fantastic snooker, but this is a real champion out there, yeah, isn't we, it? We really have. We've had a great tournament and a worthy winner, you know, one of the all-time great players that we've seen. And uh, it's interesting that he said he wasn't really sure he'd win all day because he looked pretty good to, to the rest of us who uh, watched some pretty sublime break building during the afternoon and got a bit edgy at the end, Alan, but uh, he is the champion of champions, a fitting win, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. We, we didn't get a uh, play through, I think, breaks throughout the final. It was, open. it was a couple of centuries, one from each player, but I, I think it's testament to Ronnie's you know, resolve, as Clive called it, in, uh, in commentary, the way he sticks to his game plan now. Uh, you know, he, he looked a little bit shaky a couple of times, but he came through in the end, and what a, what a great job. He's going to be filling that trophy tonight. <laughs>